Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and in today's iOS 13 jailbreak tutorial, I'm actually going to show you guys how to unjailbreak. So this means setting your device back to stock, including deleting and removing Cydia, all installed tweaks and packages from Cydia, and of course, uncover itself. This is a very, very easy guide. I have been receiving a number of questions about how to do this ever since Uncover's release. So here is the official official tutorial for how to unjailbreak. It is, like I said, super easy. It is, however, a little bit more complex than the last Uncover release. And to preface, really the only thing that you need is Uncover itself if you're jailbroken with Uncover. Checkrain has a completely different unjailbreak process. Check that out linked in your cards now. But if you want to unjailbreak with Uncover, then you need Uncover. It doesn't matter how you get it. You can get it with the no computer method and also even the no computer revoked method workaround, or you can get it with a computer, either a Windows-based PC or Mac OS. Guides to everything to get Uncover on your device are linked below. Check the description, guys. Also, the cards has a couple videos as well, but not nearly as many. So we're just going to dive straight into this. First and foremost, though, if you guys want to unjailbreak and also retain your tweaks for if you want to jailbreak then again in the future, I'm going to show you how to do that. First, if this is something that doesn't interest you, you can just skip ahead. Also, as for reasons why someone would want to unjailbreak, maybe you're taking your device into Apple for a warranty claim, you're selling it. I mean, the possibilities are literally endless. So let's just get into this by first of all, backing up everything we have installed in our jailbroken state. So what I want you guys to do is go to the search tab and then search for Batchomatic. And that will be down below in the description as well. But once you've found it, just go ahead and tap on install and confirm that. And after that install is complete and you respring, then when you open up Cydia and you go to the search tab at the bottom, you'll have this new little wheel icon to the left of the search bar. Just go ahead and tap on that. And you have two different options right up at the top immediately for creating a dev. This is what's going to be used to actually back everything up, all of your packages. You can either create an online dev or an offline dev. The difference between these two is the fact that the offline one actually backs up the devs of the tweaks themselves, whereas the online version just creates a list and it can install them with an active internet connection. Connection. So keep in mind the difference between the two. And of course, the offline one will be a little bit bigger in file size, but it's super negligible. So when you're doing this, I, I always just usually recommend creating an online version. Um, but if you don't have an active internet connection or you have unreliable internet, then you can do the offline version. It just does take a little bit longer. And you can see how quick that was with the online version. And it tells you the file path of where it stored it exactly. Now, after this, you can tap on export and you can save it. I recommend saving it to your files application. So just tap on save to files and you can pick the exact directory, but I'm just gonna leave it at on my iPhone and then hit save and now you're good. Now you can actually unjailbreak and everything will be backed up. So now we can go through the process to unjailbreak and set our device back to stock. Don't worry, all personal data will be 100% maintained. And uh, just to prove that, we're going to just use my installed apps on device currently. So you can see I have Music Day installed right now and that will persist through the unjailbreak process. So let's go ahead and tap on uncover. And one thing that you guys will notice is that when we go inside of settings in the top right and we tick off restore root FS and then tap on done, if you were to try this right now, you would receive an error most likely. There's almost a 100% chance. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And you can see here that it says notice unable to exploit kernel. This is not an error reboot and try again. In. Now, sometimes a reboot doesn't always work. You have to take it one step further, but just make sure that you have that setting ticked off and you don't even have to try to restore the root FS. You can if you want, but it's not necessary. Just make sure you tick that setting off. And then I want you guys to enter airplane mode and restart your iOS device. So basically just power it off and then power it back on. So let's go ahead and turn this guy off. I'll turn it on and we'll come back once I'm at the lock screen. All right, so here we are at the lock screen. Let's go ahead and swipe up 
input our passcode and now go ahead and launch up on cover again. Make sure that your device is still in airplane mode and you should see the restore root FS ticked. Again, if you don't go inside of settings, check it off, enter airplane mode, reboot, and then you should be caught up. And then just go ahead and tap on restore root FS. Once you're here, you'll receive this notice. It says that it will restore root FS. This may take a while. Don't leave the app and don't let the device lock. That is very, very crucial. And essentially all this is doing is just restoring the snapshot of the root file system that Uncover created once you jailbroke your device. All personal data is left 100% untouched. The only thing that's happening is just that it's restoring that stock iOS root file system. Then once it's done, you'll receive this notice here saying that it's been successfully restored and the device will be restarted. Go ahead and tap on OK to that and your device will reboot. I'll be back once more. All right, so here we are at our lock screen. Let's go ahead and swipe up and put our passcode. Now you can see that Cydia is gone. Obviously, I don't have any tweaks installed either, so I no longer have those cylinder effects. I no longer have the Power App, Filesa, none of that. I am no longer jailbroken, 100% stock. The only thing left is to just delete on cover. If you want to, just go ahead and tap and hold and then tap on delete, or you can enter the edit screen and you can delete it like so. Now, for those of you who neither wanna re-jailbreak nor get any of your tweaks back, you can stop watching here. You are are fully unjailbroken. I'm going to leave it on my device just because I'm going to show you guys that once I re-jailbreak, I'm not going to have any tweaks because we did restore the root file system. So if you want to then re-jailbreak, just open up on cover, make sure that that restore root FS option is unchecked, and then you can just tap on jailbreak and it will then create a new snapshot, restart, and then you can tap on jailbreak again, just like how you always have been able to do with Uncover. So I'm going to show you guys now basically what to do to re-jailbreak to get the tweaks back after you unjailbroke. Again, if you're not interested in that, this video basically just stopped before I tapped on jailbreak. And uh, yeah, enjoy your unjailbroken device once more. So let's go ahead and swipe on over to complete the final jailbreak step inside of Uncover. And I'll show you guys again that we can get all of our tweaks 100% back. All right, so the jailbreak is complete. Let's tap on OK. It's going to respring. And then we really just need one thing from inside Cydia before we actually do this. Well, two things. We need Batchomatic and Filesa. So let's go ahead and swipe up to unlock. Go over to Cydia now. And once Cydia does load and refresh the sources, we're going to grab not only the changes, but also those two that I mentioned. So of course, it's always best practice to install any and all updates. I'm going to tap on continue queuing so it will install everything in one fell swoop. And we're going to get, like I said, Batchomatic again. So tap on install, continue queuing. And then we need one more thing, which is just Filesa. So tap on it, tap on install. Tap on confirm this time because we have everything we need. And if you get anything that says like DPKG lockout, then just try it again. It will work. So you can see I have DPKG locked right here. So tap on respring. I know it is kind of annoying, but sometimes you do have to do it twice. So again, changes, upgrade, continue queuing. And then we're going to search for that Batchomatic. Okay, continue queuing. And then lastly, we need Filesa. Okay, Filesa, install, confirm, and this time it should work just fine. So that seems to always happen, at least for me, after the jailbreak. And uh, you can see it works the second time. So no fuss, no muss. Tap on Restart Springboard. We have everything installed that we need. And now we can just go to our regular Files app or really wherever you actually have that deb that we created prior to unjailbreaking. All right, so let's launch up files here. All right, so inside of my files app, I have located it. I'm going to do the offline one. I did also create that off camera prior to showing you guys how to create the deb to begin with, just because it does take a little bit longer. So go ahead and locate the deb inside of files, tap on the share sheet, and then I want you guys to scroll over to copy to files. Now it's going to put it inside of your documents folder 
or it's just going to redirect you there and then tap on it, batch install offline, tap on install in the top right, then respring, restart springboard. And we have one last step to do inside of Cydia. So swipe over to Cydia and then you need to go to the search tab again, tap on the Batchomatic icon, tap on install deb, and then tap on proceed. You can check any of these options that you guys want. Um, again, I have install offline tweaks checked. If you did the online version, you'll have the ability to add repos and stuff as well, and you won't have the offline tweaks checked. So let's go ahead and tap on proceed. It's going to move through this process. It does it pretty quick especially if you do the offline version, but it might take a while, especially if you have a number of tweaks installed. So it's very paramount that you do not mess with your device during this process. Okay, so now that it's done, you'll receive this pop-up. I also highly recommend checking off Run UI Cache. So go ahead and tap on Proceed to that. And once it is done, it will respring and you should have every single tweak and all of the settings for your tweaks as well. So let's go ahead and wait for this to complete. It might take a sec. All right, so we're at the lock screen swiping up and just as you can see, as I start to scroll, we have that effect from cylinder which is confirmed there as well. And we have everything that I had previously installed on my iOS device. So this is pretty awesome stuff. You can see that when I swipe over here, the only thing that's really changed is that they are in a different order and uh, it is not exactly the same layout as I had previously but I have all of my tweaks. So yeah, guys, that is everything. That is how to back up your tweaks, how to fully unjailbreak and just delete everything. And then also how to even go back to what you were at previously and your settings if you guys want to. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial and enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comment section if you did. Subscribe for more if you have yet to. Stay tuned if you already are subscribed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.